change and not like, oh my god, that's new from Walmart. Hi, I'm Charisse, and I own a Second Glance Finds. And today we're going to do an unbooting, which is an unboxing of jewelry that I have lying around that I need motivation to get listed. So I decided to start a YouTube. But before I do that, I thought I'd tell you a little about me. I am a mom of four. I am a stay-at-home mom who flips, resells, redesigns, reimagines, restores, repairs, and rehomes lost, unwanted, and broken items for fun to raise a little money for my family. Uh, my co-host is Betty. Betty is a vintage mannequin that I found who needs recovering so we found a dress to put on her today. She'll model pieces as I feel need it. So say hi to Betty. She's lost her head recently so she's a little self-conscious. As we go along, um, I'll sort things into harvest, resell, a lot. Well, let's move on. So this is the boot. It's a ceramic cookie, gingerbread cookie planner that I picked up thrifting one day that somebody had fun planting that I meant to list and never did. And it's been a catch-all for random pieces of jewelry. And I don't remember what's in it. This is something I'd put in a lot. It's just not me. I'm not a stretchy bracelet person. I don't like trying to resell them. I don't like testing them. I'm always afraid that I'm going to drop, break them. Um, I hide them from my daughter because she's always trying to steal every one of them. But this is just the cat's eye one. Um, this one has a little life left in it. Um... If I was to keep this one, I'd tear it apart to make something else with it, but I can't think of what I would want to do with it, so I'm going to put this in a lot for somebody else. Okay. Here we have, um, I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to go with, it's either, it's probably, uh, Onyx maybe? Or Jasper? It's a gemstone of some kind. Okay. It's smooth. It's got seed beads. It's another handmade piece. Um, it's off-centered. Not a fan of that. It's like one inch long side is one inch longer than the other. Um, it's got a little chip on the back of the pendant. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm gonna put lot this up. I could take it apart and redo it but somebody's gonna like it the way it is so I'm gonna leave it this is a mother of pearl pendant on a cord someone's gonna like it the way it is I'm gonna put that in a lot for someone we have another vintage graduated multi-strand necklace uh, this one lost its expansion strands so you just have a little hook here so it's very short uh this one could you and it lost a whole strand should have been a four strander so this one's going to go in the rec uh you know my restore or reclaim pile for parts maybe i'll look out and i'll find some frosted graduated beads or I'll find components to make it a sh three strand like it should be and turn it into a three strand and use the strand to make it um, expandable for the longer wider neck la ladies so that you know we can enjoy some of this beautiful vintage stuff because we don't all ha have tiny necks uh, this one is let's see tag Monet 
So this is a gold tone, gold bead on gold chain choker. Simple. Not my taste. I'm not a gold tone loving person. I'm going to give you that. You're going to see me not like a lot of it. Sorry. Just bright. Mm, just not me. Probably going to go in a lot. Somebody who loves Monet will love it. Uh, here is a leaf style glass pendant with some sparkly doodads in it. Um, I really like these, but I don't wear them. It's on a multi-cord, uh, cord with ribbon and cord. That's all tangled up and driving me nuts. I'm going to be honest. I will probably lit list a grouping of glass pendants or save them and make me a really fun wind, can wind catcher for my backyard. So... Let's see, another gold chain. On this chain we have um, seashells and a seahorse. The shells have been painted to have some gold on them. And, oh, I'm getting better, I promise I'll get better. And yeah, even better degrees. That goes in a lot. We like mermaids. We like seashells, we like seahorses, but not that one. Ooh, there's a baggie in here. Ooh, more sparklies. sparkles. What is it? Oh, this is listed. I lied, there's more listed stuff in here. It was buried. It's a pretty rhinestone necklace. So I know that's on my eBay. So, there you go. It does have a little break in it. Um, so, yeah. One of the H-links came undone. So, that's already in my, in my store. Here's another bag. This one reminds me of The Legend of Zelda. I have gamers in my family. Excuse me, I need a sip. I have gamers in my family. So when I saw this one, it's not the way it goes, but it reminds me, I think it's called the Triforce. It just reminded me of that. But it's another thermal set. Um, choker style. This one actually barely fits me. Maybe I'll wear it the rest of the video. What do you think? Yeah, that one's on my eBay as well. Um, oh, this one is a Chloe and Isabel. There is their trademark little bird. Uh, fun fact, I used to sell Chloe and Isabel. Um, I won this piece on one of their calls. It's from one of their Art Deco inspired lines. So when I say it's Art Deco inspired, I know what I'm saying. These are hollow whites. And this one is actually broken. So um, I will be contacting them to see if they will repair it for me. Chloe and Isabel have great customer service and I don't know if it re uh, stands by second owners, but I do know original owners can get life. They used to be, it might have changed. They used to be able to get lifetime repairs and replacements on their jewelry. So uh, you might want to check into that. Basic wood painted bangle. What I love about it is us larger ladies can wear it. I have a red one somewhere too. If you could see behind me on the floor, I have about 10 or 12 boxes of jewelry to go through to and list. So when I say I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos of trying to figure out what to list and what to keep and what to, yeah, you're gonna see a lot of me. I hope you enjoy me and Betty. Uh, 
she's a little quiet. So this is going to go in my catch and release. I don't do a ton of bracelets, so eventually I will release this one for all the larger ladies like me who want to have fun, fabulous bracelets. All right. Here's a fun one. People pins by Lucinda. I keep receiving these. I know there's not a lot of value in them. They're under 10 bucks, but I like them. I like them because, I don't know, they're harmonious. They're funny. They're like from about the 90s, I would have to guess. And honestly, they're just lovely. They remind us that families come in all shapes, sizes, and colors, and people are people. And maybe we could use a little more love in the world. So I hope to list these and, you know, I just hope people maybe display them. If you're not into pins, you could easily just glue a magnet onto the back and turn it into a magnet on your fridge. And, you know, have a cute little fun magnet. Wouldn't that make a fun magnet? I mean, a little hot glue, E6000, bam, you got a magnet. Not a big deal. Here we have a Zara. Now, I know this is a pretty big name because my husband used to work at um, the Westlake Mall in Seattle. He was security there during the COVID pandemic. He got laid off. He took whatever job he could get. That was night security. And so I know this is one of those upper like stores, but I don't know much about them. I know they don't sell stuff for me, but it's an ID bracelet with no ID or anything in it. So I got to research this and see if I want to resell it or just toss it in to a lot for somebody else to resell. Um, I didn't bring my magnet up with me, so I don't know if it's like magnetic, but honestly, all that's going to tell me is if it's magnetic or not. And I don't have a gold test kit to test if it's gold, but I'm going to assume it's got no markings. I'm assuming if it was going to have any kind of gold in it, it would be marked at some point with a modern. And as I look at it, it's most likely plated of, with some kind of faux gold. So, yeah, so I'll put that in the research pile. This is fun. Oop, not that. This is fun. It's very modern, vintage modern. Um, I posted this in one of my jewelry groups a while ago because I was going to list it a couple weeks ago and I never got to it. Um, but it's because... My pictures just didn't come out right because everyone's like, oh, it's bubblegum pink. It's not bubblegum pink. It's lavender. It's purple. The flash washed it all out that was so hard that I had to redo it. And then the um, brassy parts on the side, they're, yeah, they're little loops. It's like sci-fi and futuristic and very modern, like Modern's one of the words they gave me, and I love it. And, I mean, she's wearing pink. And I don't know how well you can see that, because I can only see it on my cell phone. But, yeah. I mean, here it is against my green. But, yeah, it's a really awesome necklace, and I can't wait to list it. I don't know what I'm going to ask for, to be honest, because I have not found in all my research anything else like it. And, you know, when you don't find anything like it, you're supposed to list high. But at the same time, it's not a precious metal. It shows wear because the gold tone's off, so you just see the brass undertones, which, personally, I like the look of the age. And it's plastic. But it's awesome. So like, what do you charge for that? I mean, and it's got a pretty decent chain. 
and it's you know hook closure so what do you charge for something that's so unique and so different like i can see cosplay players wearing something like this at comic-con hopefully next year if they get to go i hope you guys get to go i'm not a comic-con person but my kids would like to go here's another long fun one i have never seen anything like this but this is something i can imagine in my grandma's jewelry box that like she never wore but never threw out okay we'll put this on betty before i put it up all right so it's a long three strand all right you can see in the new class right this is why i keep old things so that um when i see class like this i can find an aged one where the brass matches the class matches this brass better so you don't have this shiny sparkly new one so that it all looks the same age when you're wearing it because you look at this you know that is new i would rather have something that looks more aged like that and not stand out so much but that's just a personal pet peeve people might be like oh that's new i know it's not gonna fall apart no it's not that's a good thing i want it to look like you know it's all the same age and not like oh my god that's new from walmart sorry so these are <laughs> uh, faceted little plastic rectangles and if i turn it just right you can see the light catching on them and there's three of them and it's quite long betty will show you so you know and they're fun i mean i you know people who don't who like long simple necklaces will love this you know yeah they're plastic but they're simple and frankly being plastic you know you can wipe these down with your white soul lights during the covid thing and not worry about damaging them so much you know just a quick little wipe down watch the strings you know and bam you're done move on you don't have to worry about the germs you don't have to worry about killing your pearls and you're so stylish look at betty yeah she's wrinkly we don't own an iron i married a military man and we don't own an iron we ditched it when he retired Seriously, we did. We were tired of ironing. No, we lost it in the move. We, we did. I should tell you about my move from hell one day. Alright, here's another beautiful tennis bracelet. But, I don't know. I'm going to need opinions. Do you think these stones, rhinestones, were meant to be like smoky quartz gray? set in gold or like smoky topazes or are they all dead rhinestones comment below and let me know while you're at it give me a thumbs up please this is my first video have pity on me pity pity please mm, i would say it's kind of modern when i say kind of i mean 80s 90s um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I mean, I could painstakingly replace every one. But oh my god, who wants to do that? I kind of honestly like the color. That I would list it this way and let somebody who likes the darker rhinestones pick it out. Pick it up. It still has some sparkle. So, this is going to be a rehomer. Because it's going to take the right person to see its beauty and to not trash it. Somebody who likes the darker side of a diamond. Even though it's not a diamond. Yeah, the darker side of a rhinestone. Okay. So, I honestly know what this stone is. It begins with a C. But I'm not going to tell you it because brain fart. In all seriousness, I have an illness called PNES. Yeah, it sounds like penis disease, as my son calls it. It makes me forget things. Partly why I resell things to help me remember and to keep my brain active. Um, 
but it's literally on the tip of my tongue and I can't tell you. Same thing with this one. And I'm not going to tell you because I can't remember. So, anyways, these this is pretty. But I will be taking this stretch bracelet apart and harvesting it for parts for a future bracelet because I like the facetedness of it. But I hate that it's a stretch bracelet and I think it would make a prettier length bracelet with chains. And it would also be way more secure for somebody to wear. Ooh, we got a ring. We got a ring. It's not marked. Fits my pinky. It's probably a size 7. Yeah, it's probably a size 7. It's a pink QX zirconia. Um, it's not stamped 925. I'm going to say it's probably stainless steel. Maybe rhodium plated. Um, it's probably from one of those bath bombs. We've all seen them. The fun little bath bombs you get where you get a ring on the inside. Hmm. Probably a 10 buck ring. And I'll probably toss it in a lot for somebody else. <laughs> Look at this baby. Now I'm going to hold it up close so you can see all these fun, fun, fun beads. Now I have a 19 year old. And when we went through this the first time I, I opened the box that the cell came in, he's like, Ugh, that's ugly. You should put that in a lot. I'm like, no, I like some of the beads. All right, take it apart and use the beads you like. No, I think it's perfect the way it is. Because I think somebody would love it the way it is. Look at how that looks with Betty. Like, come on, can you not see somebody who would wear that layered? Or am I the only weirdo who really likes that brace necklace? As I call it a bracelet. That's the penis disease, I'm telling you. I'm going to probably get in trouble with YouTube for using the word penis, huh? I'll have to look that up. Anyways. I like it. I think it's one of those unique things that people like. So I'm listing it. And then if it doesn't sell, then I'll take it apart and use it. It's a great thing about jewelry. If it don't sell, you can take it apart. Make something else. Here's another fall one. This one I'll probably wait till August to list, I'm telling you. August is my birthday month, but when it hits, I can't wait for fall. Like, my birthday hits, it's the 20th. I want fall. I want to start getting nice and cool. I'm done with the heat. We have a mixture of glass, stone, and bicone, amber color, green, army green. I'm over the army and some silver and some faceted beads. It's another nice long layering necklace. Like it's really long because look I have it double wrapped around and you can still see how beautifully long it is. Now granted actually I like it with the pink on Betty. Betty don't. Betty's all about pink today. I don't get it. She said she wants her white shirt and tan jacket to go with it. Personally, that's what I'd wear it with, but it looks good with the pink. So, I'll lift that, but I'll wait. This one has some shell beads, sea beads, and then I got some beads on here that I don't know what they're made from. These long ones. I don't know if you, I don't know if you can tell what they are. Um, let me pull up another one. The I don't know if they're porcupine quills or bone or what. Um, I'm still studying them. Every time I think I know what they are, um, I look at a different one on the strand and I'm not sure. 
Like this one makes me think porcupine quill. And then I'll look at a different one and it'll make me think bone. Either way, this one's not getting listed and it's not getting harvested. It's going in a pile until I know what it is. Um, I won't list it. I won't rehome it. I won't do anything until I know it's ethical to do something with it. I know some people are not a fan of selling bone. I know on eBay you have to know what animal it comes from and everything. And all these other questions. So until I know, I'm not doing anything with it. And I'm not going to make my headache somebody else's headache because I just feel like that's wrong. So in the meantime, it'll just sit until I figure it out. I might wear it in the fall because it's like a fall piece. I don't know. I would hate for whatever animal might have died or gave up a part of itself if it's uh, porcupine to have suffered and it not be used. But at the same time, I don't know. So for now, it will sit until I figure it out. All right, up next, this one is a Sarah Coventry piece. I know this because I have it listed. It's Frenchy, French Poodle. Now, my pictures online aren't very good, so I'm gonna have to retake these because she looks like she has way more wear on her than she really does in my pictures. Um, there we go. So. I won't lie, part of me wants to just delist her right now and to make her different from all the other ones and give her a nice enamel painting and paint her collar and her paws and just make her stand out, but I'm sure uh, Sarah Coventry collectors would be horrified to know that. This is a shell pendant with a leather backing. It looks homemade that I have no idea where I got it from so it must have came from a lot somewhere um those are some really tiny shells it's very heavily lacquered as well um I'm gonna probably put that back in a lot um this one I was actually playing with so let me unplay with it so I can show you so here we have another long luscious Pearl, but it's like a cord you know these feel like real pearls but it's got a little repair needed there's this string coming loose this is where they all join and what I was thinking so we have Betty here with it looks pretty nice what I want to do is take and put a brooch or something on here to kind of dress it up so my thinking is we all see these beautiful brooches and we don't use them anymore and dress pretty much but we all love them but we really don't have a need for brooches anymore and heck we don't really have a big need for this necklace anymore but something as simple as this brooch and this necklace right you can put it asymmetrically right trying to put it where you guys can see it on camera maybe if I do it this way it'll be better you know you cover up that join point part in the necklace and you get to show off a pretty brooch you can also do something like this as well and do that whole choker style with a beautiful brooch I don't know I don't know so that's this brooch by the way which was in there and already on it so that's going to go in the cell pile. I don't know if that brooch will stay with it or not. And we're almost done. 
We're getting down to the toes. I know, it's a long video. I'm sorry, people. And then we got this pretty one. Believe it or not, all these beautiful beads are plastic. They're faceted, they're plastic, they're in really good shape. I'm gonna probably just list them as is and probably ask about 16 to 18 for them. Then we have this one. This is by Ruby Road. Sorry about that. My hubby had to come in and give me a present. So back to this, since I'm not exactly sure where I left off. This is Ruby Road and it is fabulous. It is fun. And with everyone wearing masks now, we, those who express themselves with makeup are limited to eyes. They might want to up with the necklaces and the jewelry. So this might be a fun one. So after some research, I will probably list that one. And if not, in a lot it goes. So, ooh, more fun. More vintage fun. When does end? I feel like I'm in Mary Poppins' uh, carpet bag right about now. I'm not gonna lie. This is the boot that never ends. Feels like there's a song in there. I won't sing because then I will sound like I'm co trying to copy the Texas Gale Treasures. If you don't love her, check her out. I love her, but I'm not gonna sing. One, you don't wanna hear it. Two, that's her shtick. Another beautiful vintage necklace. You can already see that they're faceted and they like to sparkle because this is plastic and look at the light catch. Fold over clasp at the top. This one is stamped Hong Kong, so probably about the 50s, I would guess. That would be my guess. I'm probably way wrong. But... Mm -hmm. 